So what this video is, is every night this week, or at least three nights this week, I thought, well, there's no Browns game this vi this week. I want to at least make a second video. I'll just do, I don't know. I don't know what I'll talk about. I'll just sit down and hit record. Well, absolutely nothing happened. It was horrible, but I decided I'm going to just splice all three together and upload it, so here you go. I would say enjoy, but that would be nearly impossible. If you make it all the way to the end, God bless you, and I'm sorry. Thanks. Well, it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. You know, I don't know why, but I sneak in these type of videos on these secondary holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day. These type of, you know, just the holidays that don't get as much love. You know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, Fourth of July. Everybody loves those. People like Halloween. But, you know, I just, I, I fell out of the, you know, I know there's a handful of people around here that actually like the vlog style videos. Just kind of got out of that routine. But maybe Halloween, maybe this will springboard me back into it. Just been sticking with nothing but recap videos pretty much lately. Bailed on Stranger Things after one episode. I don't know. Nah, you know, I watched the whole season. I liked it, but what am I going to do? Stop and do a recap? Nah, I'm just going to binge watch it and roll right through that sucker. Five episodes later, I don't remember that. So I did stop after the first one and do that recap. Just haven't had a whole bunch to say, really. I don't know, it's hard to believe. Makes me feel like my life's pretty boring. Like, man, you can't come up with five minutes of shit to talk about on YouTube? Like I said, I mean, there's a couple of people out there that like these videos. They call them for the vlogs. They don't care about football or fish. I've, done, I've gone through that routine several times. So, I don't know. I'm still feeling, you know, kind of, still kind of rolling high today uh, from the big Ohio State win. Went into work, got a, a major high five from this one guy, Randy, man. Give me a big time high five. I mean, with some, some authority. I'm like, damn, dude, calm down. You're going to hurt me. Jesus, dude. The game was two days ago. He was still fired up. But, you know, look, they don't, they don't have a lot of victories that way. Normally they win their games. Game's over early on. If they lose, same deal. Oklahoma, Clemson, their most recent losses over the last two years, it was pretty obvious. This one looked that way from the get-go. I mean, at 7 to nothing, I was cool. I was like, all right. I kind of thought Penn State might score on their opening drive. Didn't think it would take them 15 seconds, but but at 14 to nothing, just a couple minutes into the game, you know, I had my face buried in my hands. I was just kind of feeling sick to my stomach. But, you know, better things came my way and the Buckeyes' way. It was a great night. So still feeling good about that on a Monday. Halloween Eve. All Hallows Eve Eve, huh? Something like that. Did not go to a, a Halloween party over the weekend. Thank God I didn't plan on it either. After that Buckeyes game, I'd have been a mess. Everybody there probably was. Who, who schedules a party in Ohio right after an Ohio State game, man? Should have had that Halloween party Sunday or Friday or something. I went as but I've only been to, you know I've only gone to a few Halloween parties as an adult. Once I didn't dress up. Once I think I don't know what I went as. What was that one? Went to a party in Cincinnati. I don't even remember what I was. And another time I was Buckethead. You know, everyone Buckethead had his few fifteen minutes of fame. You know, a decade ago or so. It was a, everybody liked it. Most people didn't know who Buckethead was, and they were like, "What are you? What is this?" So Michael Myers mask with a. KFC bucket on your head and some yellow raincoat and a pair of Chuck Taylors. Who are you, man? So, I imagine it would be a pretty creepy con uh, costume. Oh, man. This is worthless. Why would I do... Why would I even upload this video at this point? I don't know why. I don't know what just happened, but this is this is why there hasn't been many vlog-style videos over the last couple of months. Like, what's the point? Why would I do that? You know... Again, I'll mention the handful of people that do care and get a kick out of these. You know, I like to think it's funny, but this isn't even funny, man. What's going on? Well, I'm, just, I'm talking to this camera like it's my therapist. You know, I'm beating around the bush talking about Halloween costumes and this and that, but really, man. I mean, I don't know what I'd be doing that's more productive. It's midnight. I'd be doing some laundry, running the sweeper. I don't know. I don't know what. I do that kind of stuff. I work nights. I do that shit late at night. What do you want from me? Boy, this video took a major hard turn to the right. I don't know if I should just stop now and just get out of this game altogether. I mean, I, at some point I have to, right? I just can't. I mean, I just can't keep doing this forever. At some point, either YouTube's gonna end or I'm gonna end or something. It needs to be a. I need to. I need to see light at the end of the tunnel. That's a way out of this. It's ridiculous. 
especially the fish recaps. I don't know. I went to that Gordon show, thought about doing a recap. Then I realized I don't even know what half of those songs were. Then a day passed. The Vegas shooting was that night. It's like, ah, eh, whatever. I don't really feel like doing that. The Browns, you know, I've just had about enough of them. I mean, the Browns recap videos are the only fun part about that. And those aren't even fun anymore. None of it is. I feel like Derek Anderson that one time. Nothing's funny to me. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing's funny to me. Ever. I don't know. It's a really obscure reference. If you got that, congratulations. But the odds of, I mean... Not very many people are watching this, and the people that are watching this are probably like, who, Derek Anderson? Some fans, some sports fans, you know, Browns fans maybe even. They remember Derek Anderson. It was when he was with the Cardinals. He got caught laughing on the sidelines during a loss. Some reporters called him out on it, wanted to know what was so funny. He was like, nothing. Nothing's funny to me. He didn't mean, like, look. I mean, he just meant, like, nothing, period, ever has been funny to him. Kind of found that hard to believe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Keep looking at myself in the monitor now. Been rocking the hat, been rocking the hat, and then right before the video, I decided to take the hat off. I was like, I mean, that's why. Look. <laughs> Getting caught in the thumbnail with that thing. Oh, that's great. Sweet. Oh, shit. Now we've just wrecked it all. Oh, man. That's what I'm really worried about. My hair. McHair. Stranger hairs. That was the best part about the Stranger Things recap. That little that little hair got loose, and I, I said, Stranger hair. <laughs> Whoa, man, my chair's broken. I need a new computer chair, damn it. This right side over here, it's all fucked up. Like when I lean back, like if I ain't careful, I'll go down. Putting too much weight on it. You know, there's been a lot. Sometimes I get on the edge of my seat. Put too much weight on them armrests. I broke one of them. Will I upload this? I pro I might. I mean, at this point, I have to. Why keep looking at myself? What are you looking at, man? Oh, yeah, look at that. That is not Neil Armstrong. Or maybe it is Neil Armstrong, but it's not like a, a moon landing photo. It's a fish poster. So is this one, obviously. No, oh, great. Now I'm pointing at it with my mouse. Like, that's not going to be in the video, man. Jesus. After you, know, the, right there, that one. Finally covered after like fucking took me a year and a half and I finally covered up the uh, thermostat with a fish sticker there And that one back there It's fish performing live you can't really nobody can ever tell what that one is But it's just a picture of fish during the show the lights look weird because you know the lights Stage performing lights It's the MSG one. I mean I can never point at stuff. It's so weird man. It's like everything's backwards but that <laughs> I've wasted enough of your time. I'm sorry. If you wanted one of these vlog videos, I hope you're happy. Great. Just got on 10 minutes. My goal was to do 10 minutes. I had nothing to talk about. I had no idea where I was going to go when this started. First couple of minutes, I rambled on. It kind of sucked. Then I had a near meltdown right in the middle. Now we finished with me showing you this shit on the walls. Back over there, over my shoulder, is a bookshelf. CDs and books and whatnot on it. All right, man. This is the worst video. This is the worst video on the internet. Like I found out, I realized the other day, I might have the only YouTube video that mentions Nelson Liriano. I mean, there's probably some old sports videos and shit, like official Blue Jays videos or whatever. But like, as far as just a guy and a camera talking, like some vlog style videos, I mentioned Nelson Liriano in a video one time. Got to be the only guy on YouTube that's ever done that. And now. I mean, there's some real doozies on the internet, but boy, this might be the worst one ever. Look at that one guy. There was a comment the other day. <laughs> it's always the, the negative comments always stick out. This one was this one was new. I've never heard this one before. The guy was kind of on to something. He was, he was a little off on what he assumed, what he thought. He watched my video, and he gathered some thoughts, and he told me, me and the world what he thought in the comment section. And he said, I bet you this guy is divorced, lives alone, and is an alcoholic. Well, I'm not divorced, never been married. I do live alone, unless you count the spiders. <laughs> and uh, I'm not an alcoholic. I was offended by that. Well, how do I seem like an alcoholic? One guy recently called me a meth head. Okay, sometimes I do talk a little fast and sound excited and quite honestly. 
Sometimes I even look like a meth head, but nope, don't fuck with meth. Never done it. I was a little offended by that, too. That would hurt my feelings. Then called me an alcoholic. I'm like, when, when and how do I sound drunk? I mean, okay. Okay, I get it. I mean, I have been drunk a few times in a few videos. I think there's about three of them on here. Ohio State, Virginia Tech. Ohio State, Michigan. I think 15 and 16, respectively. And uh, the, uh, you know, that fresh... Fish set list recap from Charlotte in 2014. I was pretty hammered for that one. Mick hair. Stranger hair. All right. Been leaning in for several minutes. Man, now I'm rolling. Now I'm really rolling, man. I mean, all that, all that star, star stuff at the beginning where I wasted your time. No, 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 no. This turned out to be an amazing video. You learned a lot. Your life's probably better. I doubt it. I mean, mine hasn't got. I don't know. Mine got better or worse since I started this thing. I'm going to upload it. 317 people are going to watch it. 22 of them are going to hit thumbs up. And uh, we like nine comments. Seems to be the deal on these vlog style videos. People I consider YouTube friends. I appreciate. I really appreciate you guys watching. Tried to throw you a bone here and I blew it. Sorry. What do you? I mean, I tried. I did my best. I was like, I'm going to make a funny YouTube video. And I blew it. All right? Can't all be zingers. I'm batting about 500, though, right? I mean, I feel like about half my videos are funny, the ones that are supposed to be. And then half the time I bomb and still upload it. Nah, that's not true. There's some that are so bad they never make it to the air. <laughs> Left on the cutting room floor. All right, we got to end it at some point. Now seems like a time. I'd like to get a good thumbnail spot, though, here. Man, got that double chin rocking tonight. Got some new lights in here. If you've noticed or not, I don't know if anybody commented on the new lights or if they were just busy calling me an alcoholic, but I did get some new lights. Well, that one, that one's way out of control, isn't it? Whoa, that's too good. Have to move it over there. See now, turn this one out. All right, we're gonna end it a little bit darker now. I'm gonna quiet things down. I can't upload this now. I'm really torn. Should I do it? Should I not do it? You know, if I was a YouTube tryhard, I would go through and cut this up and make it like a two and a half minute video. Certainly, there must be two and a half minutes of something in there. But I'm not going to do that. that. That shit takes time and effort. It's really hard. It's not really hard. It's just, man, I don't want to do that. I just want to hit record and upload. That's it. It's that easy. Record, upload. We got time for no editing. All right, guys, I'm officially out of here this time. It's now 12 minutes after 12. Happy Halloween. Boom. So I guess I'll give this another shot tonight. I tried it the other night. Bored, sat down, hit record. No Browns game this Sunday, so I'm like, I at least got to do two videos a week. I don't know why I have to do two videos a week, but I have to. It's a rule. You know, some there's a few people out there that actually want more than two videos a week. Sorry. It's all I can muster right now. Is that right? Muster? It's all I can muster? I think that's right. It's not mustard. It's all I can mustard right now. I think that's right. Muster. Every now and then I'll just use a word. I don't even fucking know if I'm using it right or not. But I think I use that one right. It's all I can muster is two videos a week. The guy yesterday on Twitter complaining about misnomer. I was thinking, yeah, I've probably misused that word before. Although I don't know if I've even ever used misnomer. Honestly, I don't think I've ever used that word in a sentence, like talking to somebody in conversation. This might be the first time. It's a first. There's always a first. <clears throat> Speaking of first, uh, you can't really see it here, but that's a Cleveland Browns shirt hanging up back there. Uh, my mom nailed it. You know, historically, my mom has never been good at picking out clothes for me. I mean, going all the way back to when I was little. You know, then it got, got to a point, by the time I was eight or nine years old, birthdays, Christmas, this type of thing, it was like, well, I'll just let you pick out your own clothes. You know, I know it ruins the surprise, but <clears throat> she hit an all-time low one time. She bought me an Orlando Magic shirt that said, Hoops, there it is. It was around that time that song was out. Boom, well, there it is. I was a big Orlando Magic fan. I think it had, like, Shaq and Penny on it. It just said, Hoops, there it is. And she thought it was hysterical. I didn't really dig it. I felt bad. I hurt her feelings. She thought it was awesome, and she nailed it, and she was going to get her, like, I don't know. Teen, I might have been a teenager by then. I'm not sure. Probably not, actually. 
but she wanted to, you know, she was losing me at that point. She was like, I want to be the cool mom still. And she, she fucking blew it with that shirt. Hoops, there it is. And I don't think she ever tried after that. Socks, she'll buy me socks and towels. Kind of hard to go wrong there, but. But she nailed the Cleveland Brown shirt. And I don't even like a lot of brown stuff. You know, those brown, brown I mean, brown and orange are not great colors. <clears throat> So I don't know. This video, there was no, I had absolutely nothing to talk about. I just sat down. I was like, well, I'm bored. I got nothing to watch, nothing to say. Hmm. Nothing, nothing to say to anybody. Nothing in particular to say to anyone in particular. Basically, I was just going to be sitting here doing who knows what. I was like, eh, maybe I'll make a YouTube video. I don't know why. It's a bit of an addiction, I suppose, at this point. I don't know what I'm doing on here. This is pretty much what happened the other night. I think it was two nights ago. It was Halloween night. That's right. I was gonna. I had an excuse to make a video. Happy Halloween. Sometimes I do them holiday videos, but it was just really long. And there was nothing good in there. And like I explained in that video, I'm not gonna go through and chop this up. Too much work, man. I'm doing any work? I'm not a YouTube tryhard. But. <clears throat> I feel pretty guilty, man. Somebody clicked on this video to watch it. Maybe they've seen some videos in the past. They're like, yeah, they got guys pretty funny. And then they sit there. They might sit through the whole thing. And then like 10 minutes later, they're like, what the fuck, man? I hate that guy. He sucks. So, but now, unfortunately, now it's happening again. Eh. I just had a thought. Maybe I'll just keep doing this every night. I'll have like 10 duds lined up and then I'll just upload them all together. You get like a two hour F Zappa 20 feature film. It'd be horrible. It'd be the worst movie ever. Not a bad idea. YouTube needs some movies. Man, Hollywood, they might need some new filmmakers. Not going good for them boys right now. Woo! Lord. Everybody. Everybody. I mean, obviously, you probably knew there was some of that going on, but. Every day somebody knew. I accidentally clicked on the entertainment thing the other day on my little Google News. Never fucking click on entertainment, man. Why, why would I click on entertainment? What do I care what Katy Perry's up to? Do not care about that Fast and Furious guy. I don't mean The Rock. I care about The Rock. The other guy. I don't care about him. It's all, that's what's going on, man. So anyhow, I click on entertainment and it's just like Dustin Hoffman. I was like, Dustin Hoffman? Dustin Hoffman? That uh, Ratner guy, I guess his name is. Obviously, Kevin Spacey, House of Cards fans. Uh-oh. Never really got into House of Cards yet. Did like four episodes of season one and just bailed on it. Never got back. And at this point, it's way too far gone. And who knows, there may not be a final season. We'll see. Corey Feldman out there gets it. Man, I'm done. Not to make light of anything that happened to Corey Feldman, but if we're at the point where I'm talking about Corey Feldman, man, that's it. I'm out. I'm doing the wrong thing. It's gone too far. Maybe Boom, it'll be like it. a third time's a charm kind of deal. Back here again with absolutely nothing to say. Once again, just sat down, hit record, and we're going to see what happens. Two nights this week, absolutely nothing happened. Earlier this evening, I thought of some really offensive Halloween jokes. I know the time has passed. It's now officially the 4th going on midnight Friday night Saturday morning one of those guys calling it the fourth already even though it's like 12.02 now wait a minute it's only 11.50 still the third see what I mean nothing happens I start talking about the time of day and the date but the offense of Halloween jokes I had two of them one of them came from a very like anti-progressive type of guy and then the other one came from like a really super progressive type of guy and I just decided I couldn't really pull off either one you know, because not if I told it right now in this video, not very many people are going to see it, but it really only takes one asshole to just mess up your whole deal, you know? I don't want people thinking I'm some kind of, uh, you know, whatever. The joke was offensive, period. It was, but that was the point. I was trying to, I was trying to think of a really offensive joke that was coming from a, uh, you know, a super anti-progressive guy. Guy that's just had enough of all this. God doesn't want to hear about Black Lives Matters and transgender bathrooms and things of this nature. He's had enough of it all. This guy thinks Trump's a pussy. So, so you know, that was it. It died there. I told it to a guy at work. He really laughed. Another guy at work. He, he ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, man. It went right over his head. So, 50-50. Although, the guy that didn't really think it was that funny, he just kind of looked at me like, huh? So, um... Then the very, very anti, or the very, very, very progressive joke, you know, I'm coming from that place, 
It just wasn't that funny. I'm like, ah, fuck that. It's not that funny. Can't even remember. In fact, it was, and it was less offensive. Let's see. Nah, never mind. It's offensive enough. I can't tell it. And uh, I never know who's watching. You know, for the most part, I just I picture some bros out there. People similar, a guy similar to me, similar to my age. Probably lives in, you know, Midwest. Uh, I say, I'm to me, basically everything that's not the Northeast or the Northwest, like the Pacific Northwest and SoCal, and then the Northeast. I think everything else is the Midwest. Texas, Florida, Arizona, New Mexico, Minnesota, Ohio. It's all the same to me. North Dakota, Idaho, although you got some real fucking outlaws in like Wyoming, Idaho, Montana. That's not really the Midwest. It's like Cowboy West. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I think of the middle of California. I know what I think of northern and southern. I'm not real sure about the middle. We'll see. Kind of the Midwest. Sacramento, the Midwest. I don't know if that's considered middle California, though. It's, that's, it's approaching northern. So, anyways, then, uh, you know, I also had a lot. I've talked about it before. The lawn boy joke. I've, I've run that by everybody. Just about everybody I talk to that I kind of know, that kind of knows fish. I'm like, hey, what do you think about this joke I didn't tell? <clears throat> Mixed results. Some people would think it's funny and like, God, you should have said it. Other people are like, ooh, pressing your luck there. You know, it might be somebody new tuning in that night. You're lucky you didn't say that. It was lawn boy night. Guaranteed there were some people that clicked on your fish video that night. It was if they had no idea what was going on. They had no idea who you were. They'd never seen any of your videos before. That sounds so douchey. They had no idea who I was. That sounded douchey. Every, nobody knows who I am, basically. Statistically, nobody knows who I am. That's how I always try to, that's how I try to roll. Then you get into the fish community, it's like, all right, some people know who I am. That's a small community. I used to think they had hundreds of thousands of fans. I don't think they do. I think they might have less than 100,000 fans. I've talked about this before, too. So, I don't know. The Browns, somebody wanted me to talk about the Browns flop with the trade sick of talking about the Browns. I'm so glad they're on a bye week. Can talk about Ohio State again. I guess with no Browns video, I could have... Now nah, this video is going to replace the Browns video this week. It's going to be a long video, because I think I'm going to clip it together with those other two. I wonder if anybody, if somebody actually makes it all the way through it. It might be kind of interesting. Be like, wow, man. This guy had a really strange week. I did kind of shave this morning. Half-assed it. Just did it in the shower. One of those shaves, you know. Hmm. <clears throat> Not much been happening, really. I'm trying to think of trying to think of something eventful must have happened. You know, I must have had a run in with someone at a gas station or trying to get something to eat. Nothing but you know, my mom hasn't done anything weird. I don't know. Not that my mom does weird things, but you know. Just I was saying I was just with her the other day and maybe something I don't know, I got nothing. Oh, yeah, that shirt she got me. We talked about that yesterday, though. I don't know. We talked about this chair being broken and how i got to be careful. I do like leaning back like this. Really pondering things. Talked a lot about my hair over the years. I, keep, I don't know, man. How long? I've been doing this for years. And I know there's a few people, like, just names and, you know, YouTube pictures that I recognize. I'm like, man, I feel like this guy has been watching since, like, 2014. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Some people, I feel like they've watched them all. It's awesome. Some of them I know a little bit. Some of them I don't. But, cool. Oh, man, this is this is it. This is what I was talking about a little bit yesterday, about how, like, I don't want to, well, you know, even if it's just, like, two or three people that sit through a whole video, it's 15 to 20 minutes long, and it's just horrible. I mean, I was just sitting here, there was, like, total silence for about five seconds. Considered that thing where I go through and just chop everything up and try to pull some good stuff out of this, but was there anything good? I feel like it would be better just having it all. You know, it'll be longer, take up more of your time. Nobody's going to watch the whole thing. All right. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know why. I don't know anything. How many times have I said I don't know? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why. I have no answers. It's a good thing you guys don't come here for answers because you would get none. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just bored. That's all, you guys. I'm just bored. 
I mean, you can only check your fantasy basketball team and your fantasy football lineup so many times. Work's over. Weather's horrible. Can't even go outside and do anything. Not that I'd be out there doing anything. Oh, man, it's 11.57. So this segment of the video is going to be over seven minutes long. Anything going on on my phone? Maybe? Let's see. Have I taken any pictures recently? Picture of me as Buckethead at Halloween. Showed that a few times this week. Not showing it to you guys, though. All right. See what I mean? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Disappointed in myself. Thought something funny might come up here. It didn't. 0 for 3. Phew. Strike 1. Boom. Strike 2. And Friday night, strike 3. Boom. Out of here.